Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great week. Thank you so much for coming again and today I have a new video where I created another background for the series Wow Backgrounds. This is a very, very simple way to create a background and to tell you the truth, I didn't even think of this idea myself. Not only it's not my idea, but I also I never actually thought of it even though it's so logical and so easy to do. It's called a dragging technique or that's basically what I call it and you can use any type of paint for it and it's so so easy and it makes amazing backgrounds that look like they're a million dollar backgrounds but they're actually made in such a simple way that I really felt that I wanted to show you and give you this content because I am really loving creating backgrounds that's one of my favorite things to do when i want to create them for cards or for art journaling or even for my canvases and scrapbooking layouts so i want to make another type of background and i also want to bring some ideas to my channel that i see out there and that are really really great so all i did is i put a few drops of each of the paints and these are dollar store paints and i added them in a row at the top of my paper this is a Bristol Smooth paper from Strathmore and all I'm doing is I'm using old credit cards, this is a Starbucks card actually and an iTunes card, and dragged it along towards the bottom of my paper. It creates beautiful dragging marks that you could use for any type of project. You could embellish it, you could use it as a background or just leave it the way it is or you can cut up pieces to insert it into an art journal or a canvas. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to do this now horizontally and I'm adding a bunch of colors the other way around. I use separate cards for dragging just to make sure the colors don't blend in. So once you apply all the colors and you don't have to put a lot of paint, you just go ahead and you drag the colors along. I picked really bright acrylic paints for this technique because I really think it's important to have bright colors for backgrounds. You want to also make sure that the acrylic paint is the right consistency, meaning not too thick and also not too liquidy so it can drag along the paper. This is truthfully such a fun and easy technique to do. Now, a lot of it stays on top of the credit card, so I thought a good idea is to grab another piece of paper and actually use it to drag in different directions the leftover paint that I have. And that created an amazing background as well. This is almost like a kindergarten technique that you can just do. Uh, you could do this with your kids or you could do this for your projects. It creates really great backgrounds without having to do a lot of effort. And I just thought, oh wow, why didn't I think of this? Why didn't I think of doing this before until I saw it on Pinterest or on another YouTube video? And I thought, you know what? I'll do this as well. And just to show people that it's possible to do. Here I added the drops in a circular shape and I'm just dragging them out to see how it looks that way as well. I thought I could create some kind of star shape. I don't know, I was just experimenting. As usual, I love experimenting, as you know. So that's something that I wanted to do. Here I want to talk a little bit about copying. So a lot of people have, are get very stressed, and I mentioned this in my last WOW background video, about copying techniques. Techniques are just things that you experiment, that you learn. You can definitely copy a technique as long as you're not doing the same exact project as somebody else. And I find that a lot of people get very stressed out because others are copying their techniques. Techniques were not invented by one person unless you can really go back and search who invented a technique and then you have to give them credit. But if there is like hundreds of people creating the same techniques online, then you can just go ahead and experiment and do and create your own projects and your own videos and nobody can really say anything about that because you can go ahead and copy a technique. Now if you're copying a project, that's a different story. You do need to give credit to the person. But if you're just copying a technique, a technique that many people do, then it's really hard to just give credit to the original owner. So go ahead and experiment with this technique it's just basically dragging it's instead of using a palette knife i'm using a card 
and these have been used for centuries so it's really not copying so go ahead and experiment and create your own videos and your own, your own dragon techniques and just have fun with it i really really encourage people to experiment that's why i want to bring you these videos because i want to show experimentation and how fun it is to do this it, it almost looks like i created these backgrounds on a gel plate and it was just basically dragging everything all over the place thank you so much for visiting me today I hope you liked my video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more inspiration, subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website so you can see all my new posts. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye!